Tomorrow is an extremely important day. Why? Because there are two major forces on earth controlling the life of any man. One is causes, the other is blessings. So whatever is happening in the life of any man can be traced either to curses or to blessings. In the name that's above every other name, every curse that may still remain in your life will be terminated by tomorrow. And the blessings you need to reach your goal rapidly, unhindered, assisted by the Almighty God Himself, you will receive tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to be speaking to you on healing virtues. Healing virtues. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, one of the testimonies of this Congress will be, and he healed them all. Thank you, Father. The Lord said, there's someone here the doctors have been worried about the pain in your chest. Our Lord asked me to tell you the pain is gone. I have good news for you. God is already sending his word. Okay, Lord. Daddy wants me to remind you of the story of a man during one of our Holy Ghost services in uh, the National Stadium in Surulere. The Word of God just came and said there was a man who had only one kidney because the second had been removed and the only one remaining is also beginning to give trouble and God said well tell him I've given him two new kidneys well I think that's a word for somebody already that was Friday night the following Monday, the man concerned ran to his doctor to examine him. In the testimony that followed, the doctor said, I was the one who removed the first kidney. On the day we were removing that kidney, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Light went out. Uh, problem with anesthesia, etc., etc. He said the, the operation that was to last for about one hour lasted eight hours. So he said, I can't forget this man. But the man now went to the same doctor on Monday. And doctor said, I can't believe you are the one. Because now there are two healthy kidneys. The Lord asked me to tell you that story because there's someone here. The doctors have removed something important from your body. You are getting a brand new one now. At every 
place where Jesus preached, healing followed. And he's about to repeat that here tonight. Before I leave this place tonight, the healing virtue of the Most High God is going to touch somebody. So God kept on using the old method of sending his word. Like in the case of Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46 to 52, Bartimaeus cried unto him for mercy. They brought him finally to Jesus. He said, what do you want? He said, I want to receive my sight. All right, receive your sight. The word of God is coming to somebody right now. Receive your healing. I'm here today representing the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not Jesus. <laughs> you should know that for sure. I'm not Jesus at all. Jesus never ate Pandadia. But it's my God. And I'm assuring you, as I'm standing here, he's standing here with me, and he's sending his word, through me and he's saying to somebody right now receive your healing there are at least two testimonies here tonight of people who took an anointed handkerchief and used them to raise the dead and we were just sitting down uh, we have had that one before. That is not happening anywhere else. God is blessing us. Let somebody shout hallelujah to him. He said in Mark chapter 16 from verse 17 to 18. Mark 16, 17 to 18. He said, when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Know what he was saying? The healing virtue will flow through your hands. Well, only those who believe will say amen to that. I told you yesterday, the purpose of this Congress is to move you from receiving to becoming. Not just to receive your healing, but to become a healer in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether you believe it or not, somebody will come out of this Congress sharing testimonies that will frighten you. And as I'm waving my hand to you just now, receive your healing. The Lord wants to move you from receiving your healing to becoming the carrier of his healing virtue. One of the miracles God will perform for you during this Congress is that he will give you the ability to hear him. The Lord, <laughs> the Lord is saying in the crowd, he said, uh, a fellow is saying, ah, Satan, your secret is out. The Lord asked me to tell you, I will confirm it to you.
this is the night of our healing. But don't forget, Jesus says, it will be unto you according to your faith. So before we come around and do the anointing, because we will do the anointing for healing, the elders are to do the job. They didn't even ask the fellow that is going to be anointed to do the praying. After they have anointed you, we are going to pray. But the prayer we are going to pray will be different from what you think. But before we can do that, because when a woman came to Jesus Christ saying, my daughter needs help. In Matthew chapter 15, from verse 21 to 28, Matthew 15, 21 to 28, the Bible tells us that Jesus told the woman, Healing is children's bread. I cannot give the bread of children to dogs. That's what he said. In other words, he said, if you are not a child of God, they can pour a bucket of oil on your head. Nothing is going to happen. He knows those who are his own. The Bible said he came to his own, his own received him not, but to as many as received him, to them give he power to be called children of God. That's why tonight, very, very quickly, if you know that you are not sure of your salvation, so that the miracle of this wonderful night will not pass you by, run forward and surrender your life to Jesus Christ. I'm going to count from one all right because some of you are far away from one to ten if you want to give your life to jesus christ come and stand before the altar before i count ten and i'm counting now one Two. Three. If you know you are coming from a long distance, you better run. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh. 
Okay, those of you are already in front, and those of you are already on the way, cry to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him to have mercy on you and to save your soul. Tell him, you are saying bye-bye to the devil. Now you want to serve Jesus Christ and him alone. Ask him to wash you clean with his blood. Pray that the Almighty God, the Savior, we save you today and give you genuine salvation. Now, the rest of us, please stretch your hands towards these people and intercede for them that the Almighty God, who saved your soul, may bring salvation to them. Pray that God will give them genuine salvation. Cry to God for them. And those of you on the way, you have to hurry up now because I want to be praying for salvation in a moment. If you are on your way, just keep coming. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you because tonight is that night that you have set aside for healing. Thank you because you said in your word, anyone who come unto you, you will know why it's cast out. These people have come. Father, please receive them in Jesus' name. I'm asking Lord God Almighty that this very night, you will save their souls. Amen. Your blood will wash them clean. Amen. You will write their names in the book of life. Amen. You will receive them into the family of God. Amen. And when they cry to you tonight, Lord God Almighty, please answer them by fire. Amen. When they are anointed tonight, my Father and my God, let the anointing work for them also. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.